Welcome to Fandom Academy. I think this is the first time we are all gathering together to celebrate all the students of Vihara Arts with proud and much pride. Let's together give a big round of applause to Vihara Arts Festival 2022. Veenai, one of the most important things that you have done is that you have done it. This is the most important thing that you have done in India. You have done it 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 in India. The classical Asian Veena exists from the age of Rig Veena. There are many historical pieces of evidence that prove Veena to be a celestial music instrument. According to Hindu mythology, the goddess Saraswati holds Veena in her hands. Veena possesses a lot of constructional similarities to the human body and therefore is also a scientific matter of interest. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Vine and Sangeetan students of Vihara Art under the guidance of teacher Kantika.
Thank you to the team of Sankirtanam in Vinani of Vihara Arts. Vihara Arts. Vihara is derived from the Vihara, a Sanskrit name which means monastery, state of mind or dwelling places for the liberate ones. Thus, Vihara Arts is the dwelling place for the arts, artists and the art lovers. As the human body is referred as the representation of temple, Vihara Arts aims to purify one's mind, soul and body through the healing vibration of dancing art forms. Vihara Arts is the brainchild of Master Kunaratnam Belayudam to open a dance studio and academy which serves dance education to all walks of life. 
It became a reality on August 2010 when Vihara Arts launched their first studio in Bandarupi, Kocho. Vihara Arts started to open classes for Bharatanatyam beginners. In addition, Vihara Arts and its pioneer members began to perform in commercial events and receptions and give rise to the first batch of performing artists in Vihara Arts. Over the span of 10 years, Vihara Arts received many colleagues and achieved a greater height in performing arts industry. In these years of hard work and perseverance, Vihara Arts produced a total of 60 dance production, 240 students in all classes and innumerable performances all around the world. Yoga Kalayan Badu, Woodal, Manam, Arivu, Unarvu, Matrum, Aang Miga Valachikum, Udavidum Kalayakum, Yoga Yenum Kalay, Walkai Arivial, Matrum, Walu Kalayakum, Patanjani Univaral, E Kalay India Vintori, Valandu, Vani Vani Aivarum, Ur Udukanir Yakum, Idu, Udalayum, Ulatayum, Nalatudan Vaiti, Portrum, Old Kangalai, Patriya Nini. Natya Yoga is the name given to a type of yoga that combines yoga and dance-like movements as a spiritual practice. It has similarities to Hatha Yoga, but it has a different approach in that it also integrates elements of dance and mind rather than static asanas. Natya Yoga has been performed and taught throughout history by temple dancers and sages. It is considered a beautiful art form as well as spiritual practice. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you Natya Yoga performed by yoga students of Vihara Arts under the guidance of teacher Sri Shali. In Brinkle, Vihara Arts in Yoga Paitiyagal, Yoga Matru Natya Kalaya Inaitu or Alakana Parepe Varangavulagal. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's put our hands together for the yoga presenter of Vihara Arts.
Swarajadis. In Carnatic music, Swarajadis understood a simple composition comprising Pallavi, Anupallavi, and one or several Charanas, all with Sahityam. Charanas are rendered in Swaras and then in Sahityam, which is feature of Swarajadi comparative Kriti or Kirtanam. Pushpanjali, literally folded hands full of flowers, is an offering of flowers to Hindu deities. Pushpanjali is the first dance in a Bharatanatyam performance. It is a salutation to the Lord of Dance, Nataraja, the Guru, the musicians and the audience. It is made up of two words, Pushpa, flower, Anjali, folded hands to show respect. The dancer holds flower to offer prayers to the trinity of gods, goddesses, Ashtadik Palakas and scholars in dance. Pushpanjali, Ragam, Natan, Talam, Adi. Ladies and gentlemen, with pride and with much honor, now we would like to present to you Swarajadis and Pushpanjali by all the young talents of Vihara Arts.
Ganapati Kautava. This is the first Kautava that you will learn in Bharatanatya. Lord Ganapati, son of Parvati and Shiva and the remover of obstacles. He has an elephantine countenance with a curved trunk and big ears and a huge pot-bellied body of a human being. This is a fast-paced, invocatory dance where the dancers offer their prayers to the Lord Ganesha and seek his blessings to make the event a success. In a Gautavam, Cholakattu's rhythmic syllables are intertwined with the lyrics of the song. Thus, it has both Nritta, 
Purva and Abhinaya expressions, components in its choreography. Ganapati Kautavam, Ragham Anantai, Palam Chatusra Eka. a spiritual combination for the dancer who soars into the realm of pure ascetic delight. Movements and poses merge to create ever new pattern, ever new design in space and time. The dance moves onto a crescendo that is truly to both the eyes and the ears. With the cosmic sound of the old, the dance dissolves into nothingness, just like moksha or the deliverance of the soul in real life. Choreography by Guru Shri Durgacharan Ranbi of the Deva Prasad Bani of Odissi.
References in the Silipadikaram, Silapadikaram and other works of Sangam literature show that Silabam has been practiced since at least the 4th century before Christ. It derives from the Tamil word Silam, meaning heal. The term Silabamba refers to a particular type of bamboo from the Kurunji Mani, Kurunji Hills in present day camp. The Silabam was named after its primary weapon, the bamboo stuff. It may have earlier used for self-defense and to ward off animals in the Kuriji Hills and later evolved into the present-day martial art. The ancient city of Madurai formed as the point of focus of Silambam's spreading.